Hey, it's Dr. Sarah Gottfried, and I want to talk to you today about blood testing, about biomarker testing in your blood. How do you do that, especially during a pandemic? How do you do it conveniently at home? And what are some of the things that I'm looking for and testing for? So I, I just did a panel at home. Um, I used a company called ZRT, and I just want to run through what it is I tend to check quarterly on myself as well as my patients. So I'm about to open my practice back up to new patients. I've been closed to new patients for several years. And if you want to learn more about that, you can go to sarahgoffreedmd.com forward slash patient, forward slash patient. So what am I testing for? Well, one of the things that has been happening for me during the pandemic is that I'm craving more carbohydrates. I tend to be a carb intolerant person, meaning that I just don't process carbs very well. And as a result of that, my insulin can fluctuate a fair amount. And therefore, my blood sugar control and my weight can fluctuate a fair amount. So I like to check at least once a quarter a panel of hormones. And I'm looking for three basic things. First, I'm looking at metabolic hormones. So that's insulin, as an example. I'm also looking at growth hormone and uh, testosterone, because testosterone is this multi-system hormone. It's not just involved in libido. It's involved in so many different things. So those are some of the metabolic hormones. There's a longer list, but that's what's easy to test. The second panel is sex hormones, and that includes estrogen, progesterone, cortisol, as well as testosterone again. So I would put testosterone and DHEA, the androgens, into that category. And then the third category that I'm looking at because I'm obsessed with cardiovascular disease is I look at cardiovascular risk factors, including hemoglobin A1C, which is about your three month average of what's happening with your blood glucose, as well as insulin, as I mentioned, and a lipid panel, including, um, I like to look at C-reactive protein, which is a measure of inflammation. So those are the, the three categories of tests that I'm looking at once a quarter in myself as well as my patients. And what's cool about this lab is that you can do blood spot testing. So this is a filter paper. Hopefully this won't gross you out, but there's my blood. I basically pricked my finger and dropped the blood onto the filter pa paper to create these 12 blood spots. And that's a very stable way to look at your different blood biomarkers. So I find this is really easy, especially during a pandemic, because who wants to go to a lab right now? <laughs> it's full of sick people. I don't want to go to the lab. I, you know, there's a lot of tests I have to do at the lab. You know, when I send my patients for a NutriVal or when I'm doing uh, more advanced phenotype testing, but it sure is convenient to do testing at home. Another test that I really love is the dried urine test. It's called dutchtest.com. And I'll do another video about why I love that test so much, especially for hormone metabolism and for really understanding where you are with stress and cortisol. I love the cortisol awakening response. So I'll record that in a separate video. I just wanted to give you a sense of blood spot testing before I send this off via UPS tomorrow. Okay, guys, hope that was informative. Let me know if you have any questions below, and I'll see you next time.